hello guys welcome back to the channel today we are reporting on britain's roughest hotel which is the crown hotel um now this hotel is open to the public this hotel has in the past housed illegal migrants i'm not sure if there's any left there but it also has been used to house undesirables um so we're just gonna have a look around uh, there is a ambulance outside so i don't want to i don't want to um, sort of get anything like that on camera but yeah this is the hotel just here and we'll just have a quick look i'm not going to go in too far um, but yeah that's inside now hi mate you're right um so i'm not going to go in too much uh i will get some better shots of the building because i'm going to go up on the train line see if i can get some better shots of the building um now if you head to trip advisor you will see the reviews on here and i will link the review page to trip advisor within this video um and they are terrible and i mean absolutely terrible but it's a big place so basically they're housing smackheads um that's what they're doing and obviously us taxpayers pay for that too um well this is the back way we're gonna read just while we're here we're gonna read some of these reviews out uh just just two two quick reviews okay first one absolutely disgusting this so-called hotel is never two star more like minus one at the moment houses homeless people that are asleep all day and awake all night do not book it has broken windows smashed furniture fires in the rooms people always hanging around the front door and the picture must have been taken years ago as it definitely doesn't look like that now that's one and these were from this year guys and this one is march 24 bad manager and staff this is the worst hotel i've seen in my life it is with a very sad heart i write to register i'll my ill treatment at crown hotel the manager and staff are called caller don't know what that means are not professional and discharging their duties first i was given a room i didn't like they forced me to stay in the room and the manager insisted it's okay for her so it is for me imagine such when i am not your kid that you can control any direction of your choice does that make sense yeah uh, <laughs> well you oh, can see tomorrow. you can see that on trip advisor anyway guys um which i will link into the description um, I'm going to have a walk up these steps. Hopefully they're safe enough for me to walk up. Um, but also within them, uh, within them uh, reviews, you'll see people have been reporting, members of the public have been reporting that people are knocking on the doors, trying to sell them drugs. Now, a lot of people uh, have said they stay here because obviously we're not far from Orton Towers, so they stay in there. They, they, they wanted to stay in this hotel and then go to Orton Towers if they they're from a a far place sort of thing. Oh yeah, look at it. I mean that can't be good, can it? It looks absolutely horrible, don't it, guys? Uh, yeah. So like I said, they have so they they have housed uh, illegal immigrants here um, in the past. I'm not sure if there's any left it's still here whether they've been moved on um but yeah that's a definite that they have housed migrants here and it's open to the public now um and yes you can book a room here <laughs> i wouldn't but you can uh, and um obviously uh, they house um undesirable drug addicts here as well which is it cost to the taxpayers money uh, i'm not saying they shouldn't be housed i'm saying that the hotel is cashing in on the taxpayers still uh, by housing uh, these undesirables so here we are again guys walking towards the entrance again um, i'm going to try and get up on them uh, by the train tracks just up there and uh, yeah, there's a member of staff just walked past there uh, yeah so i'm going to try and get up just on them train tracks there and see if i can get a good view of this hotel give you a good um looking at how what how, what the size is like we have got some homeless people that are pitching up on the grass 
um, maybe they have been kicked out of the hotel because they are the ones that are selling the drugs. I don't know, maybe I'm just speculating. Uh, but yeah, let's see if we can get a better view. So we're just here, guys, and I'm just having a look at this fly tipping here. More fly tipping. It's everywhere in Stoke, isn't it? So here we are on the other camera, guys. And that gives you a good indication of how big the hotel is. So there's quite a few people being housed in there. Not migrants, but undesirables. Um, if I just pan the camera there, you can see what I presume, and this is only my opinion, are people that were staying in the hotel and have now been kicked out. And there is just some more up there. Now I can confirm that they are drug addicts. There you go, you can obviously, well you can tell really, but at least they've got a tent. Um, they've got more, well they, they haven't got as much as what they offer um, the migrants. But that just shows you that our system is massively underfunded for people like them. And underfunded with drug rehab programs and stuff because they're more interested in housing the migrants but there's the hotel anyway obviously if it's full of drug addicts they've probably got a keeler in there they've probably got someone who's overdosed there's the entrance that we went into but it's a very very big historical hotel I know there is quite a bit of history to it so if you look up on the history guys, I'm not going to post it on the screen, but if you look up on the history, you will see that this was once an absolutely amazing place that's been absolutely run down. And obviously run on taxpayers' money as well as housing um, the public, but I don't think the general public are actually staying there. And when they do, there's obviously really bad reviews given. There you can see the Crown Hotel. So we've just taken some shots from this angle here guys, which is just on the platform in Longton. Um, there's the hotel just there. I think I'm going to leave this one here. Um, if you have enjoyed that video, do give it a thumbs up and I will see you on the next one.